Hey guys, in the course of nearly 40 years, Sylvester Stallone has given us five amazing Rambo films. But in today's video, I want to talk about five other Rambo film script ideas that never got produced, but who knows, if we're lucky, maybe Stallone will give us a sixth one, and it could be one of these. Oh, and make sure to um, stay to the end because I'm going to give you another film idea, another script that was being worked on that could have actually ended up becoming Rambo 3. And if you like Stallone or Rambo, by the way, or those kind of guys, those kind of movies, hit the smash no, don't don't hit smash the like button. Do it now because I'm going to keep producing this kind of content as long as people like it. So sit back and enjoy Rambo, The Lost Scripts. Plans for a fourth Rambo film started while the third film was still in production. According to interviews with Sylvester Stallone and some articles in action movie magazine Impact between 1988 and 1992, he wrote a script titled Rambo 4, The Black Forest in which Rambo was working with Greenpeace fighting what Stallone said were nature criminals. For those who don't know, Greenpeace is a global, independent campaigning organization that uses peaceful protests and creative communication to expose global environmental problems and promote solutions that are essential to a green and peaceful future. I personally think Rambo would be a great fit for this organization. As far as the so-called nature criminals Stallone talked about in the script, he could have been referring to several things. For one, the dumping of toxic chemicals throughout U.S. forests has become a problem ever since the 1990s. A typical dumper is often an individual cleaning out a storage shed containing years worth of old paint products, garden pesticides, and engine oil. Or the dumper may also be a small business owner who doesn't want to pay the increasing rates for proper disposal of hazardous materials. The story would have likely seen a corporation involved in the dumping and had Rambo battling the corporation's misaligned security team. Another idea for the nature of criminals could have seen Rambo battling illegal deforestation or possibly even wild animal poaching. Either way, having Rambo fighting against any of these criminals would definitely be a worthy cause that the audience could fully support and easily get behind. The direction this Rambo film would have taken reminds me of a couple of Steven Skull movies in the mid-1990s. During that time, Skull was in his environmentalist phase and used his star power to bring these kinds of issues on screen with his own action films. As can be seen in 1994's On Deadly Ground, where he fought against a greedy oil tycoon, and also 1997's Fire Down Below, where he fought against toxic chemical dumping in rural Kentucky. What do you guys think about Rambo working with Greenpeace against nature criminals, by the way? Comment below. It took 20 years for a new Rambo film to come out after Rambo 3 did in 1988. During Rambo 4's development, the film went through several different story premises. One of the unproduced scripts featured Rambo living a quiet life with wife and child until white supremacists kidnapped his family. Sort of think of it as a Rambo meets American History X. The story idea would likely see Rambo involved in an interracial marriage. The plot would likely be similar to Best of the Best 3, which took place in a small town where a vicious group of neo-Nazis have been terrorizing the populace. The neo-Nazis has always been an easy target to vilify, for obvious reasons, and this film idea would have likely seen Rambo have to break into their compound in order to rescue his wife and child. There would definitely be some similarity to Rambo 3, where Sloan had to break into the Russian fortress in order to save Colonel Troutman. Although this script for Rambo 4 never materialized, there were definitely some ideas that ended up getting implemented in Rambo 5, Last Blood. For example, he's living a quiet life, not with his wife, but rather an old family friend and her granddaughter, whom he does have to rescue after she's kidnapped in Mexico from human traffickers. I thought they did a really good job of refashioning this script into what eventually became Last Blood, Rambo 5. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this idea. One of the rejected Rambo scripts was written in the early 90s by Stallone, and it was mentioned by him in an interview he did for Starlog magazine in November of 1993. Around that time, the script he was working on would see Rambo returning to his hometown and meeting his brother, who is a town sheriff. But then Rambo gets kicked out of the small town because everyone there knows about Rambo's history, what he did in the Vietnam War as well as the previous three films. It's really what he did in the film First Blood that got the town in a tizzy, he also pretty much teamed up with the Taliban in Rambo 3, but that was well before the Taliban ever became associated with the events of 9-11 and an enemy of the United States. Rambo was simply helping them defeat the Russians who were terrorizing their homeland at the time. However, in this script, Rambo re-returns to the small town in order to save the day once some dangerous criminals his brother put in jail escape and terrorize the town, and try to kill his brother in the process. The entire film would also take place during a large hurricane, which is truly an interesting setting. What do you guys think about the idea, by the way? I can almost see them revisiting it for a possible return in Rambo 6. Um, let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Another Rambo film script that was floating around would see Rambo trying to stop a hostage situation at the United Nations where he's working as a diplomat. 
Terrorists, including Rambo's own adopted son, end up taking control of the UN headquarters in New York City. It'd essentially be Sylvester Stallone's take on Die Hard. This idea is not so far-fetched, and I could easily see why the studio may have actually greenlit the script. Because after the success of Die Hard in 1988, several studios and their bankable action stars would take a go out their own version of the hostage flick. For example, he had Warner Brothers with Under Siege starring Steven Seagal in his most iconic role, playing Casey Ryback. So who are you? Are you, you like some special forces guy or something? I'm just a cook. A role that the Aikido Master would reprise in 1995's Under Siege 2 Dark Territory. John claude Van Damme had sudden death from Universal Pictures, where the Vice President was taken hostage during Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, and even Keanu Reeves in 20th Century Fox's movie Speed, which also garnered a sequel on a cruise ship of all things. Now I would personally love to see Rambo tangle up in a hostage situation at the UN headquarters, but after what transpired in his latest outing in Last Blood, I'm not so sure the UN would offer him a role as one of their diplomats. Let me know in the comments section what you think about Rambo being embroiled up in a, a hostage flick. I think it'd be a lot of fun personally. Another idea Stallone had for Rambo was an entire genre shift. He wanted to explore the area of sci-fi and horror. In this idea, the story would take place in the Pacific Northwest. Maybe inspired by all those Bigfoot sightings over there, perhaps. There's a pretty good article written up about it on the website Bloody Disgusting. It seems that somewhere in that area, there is a U.S. military installation that is doing experiments on elite soldiers as part of some sort of program where they're attempting to tap into that savagery that we have deeply embedded in all of us. Now, there were rumors that this was going to be somewhat like Universal Soldier, but Sloan has squashed those rumors back in 2009. He clarified, it's going to be more of a Predator-type monster movie. He stated, It's not a Universal Soldier. It's not me fighting a super soldier. It's actually a feral beast. It's a thing. It's this algamation of fury and intelligence and pure unadulterated rage. It's before men became human. This is when they were still inhuman. And so, what Rambo confronts is something that is everyone's nightmare. Stallone continued, Rambo's going against a feral beast that has absolute cunning and intelligence and a will to survive that is only matched by Rambo's. And that's what makes it uniquely different. Man's conscious fighting his dark, dangerous, uncontrollable subconscious. It's very similar to the plot in Forbidden Planet. When the doctor couldn't control his mind and his subconscious took over and became a savage killing machine. It's your worst nightmare. You're battling your primitive self. According to reports, the Savage Hunt's plot was inspired by James Byron Huggins' 1999 novel Hunter, which Sloan had at one point acquired the rights to. Now in that novel, a beast, a half-human abomination created by a renegade agency through a series of outlaw genetic experiments, is loose somewhere north of the Arctic Circle, and a tracker by the name of Nathaniel Hunter is tasked with taking it down before it reaches civilization. So I told you guys at the beginning of the video that I'd share the idea what almost became Rambo 3. This was talked about by Sheldon Lettich, co-writer of Rambo 3, during an interview he did with UltimateActionMovies.com, which I'll link in the description below. This alternate story idea came about because Stallone and the producers of Rambo 3 at the time began to worry that Afghanistan was too much of a political hot potato and also that the Soviets might pull out of Afghanistan before the movie was released, which actually did end up happening. So one of the alternate versions of Rambo 3 that was written took place in Siberia and until Rambo rescuing a downed American pilot before the Soviets can get their hands on him. That's pretty much the movie Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson that was released in 2001. But essentially, it could have ended up being Rambo meets Cliffhanger. Count me in, I'd love to see that. So anyways, that's the video guys. By the way, which of these would you prefer to get made if Stallone ever gives us a gift of Rambo 6?